Hello and welcome to SPACE, the fourth annual forum of the Art Design Media Subject Centre. I'm David Clues, I'm the co-director of the Subject Centre and this short film accompanies Stephen Heppels and offers some personal reflections on learning spaces. The drivers of new learning spaces are shifts from teacher-centred to student-centred and project-based learning, shifts from accumulating knowledge to developing creativity skills and capacities focused on inquiry-based learning, new and emerging technologies meeting declining building stock. There are new consumers and users of education. Institutions are increasingly engaged with wider local, regional and national communities and we need to build new identities through the architecture of learning spaces. So, who are the learners and how do we learn? What about co-learning, learning to teach in new situations and learning with our students? working with strategic objectives of the institution, our professions and practice-based organisations. We need to look for precedents and new ideas that reflect and embody our values and engage with stakeholders, whomever they may be, and learn to manage new learning spaces and build with sustainability, space that is flexible and future-proofed. Well, what about the spaces we don't like? We don't like lecture theatres and corrals and cubicles, or open space office, spaces that hinder communication and socialisation. And then there's the spaces we're supposed to like. Cafes and learning centres, things with soft furnishings, movable furniture and technology, things that have bright colours, spaces that are a bit like Starbucks. But the greatest part of learning in art, design and media does not happen in generalised spaces, in seminar rooms and lecture theatres. Our practices and subjects need specialised spaces, spaces for team working and co-working. They're full of special kit that needs expert skills. There are health and safety demands and they can be very messy. Learning in our subjects arises out of deliberate practice and in socialised space. We are familiar with these spaces in the form of studios and workshops. The challenge now is how will these be developed for 21st century practice and learning. Our learning spaces need to be tough and resilient they need to support social learning and they need to be robust and flexible. But the values, ideals and ambitions embodied in our practices means we need to be inspired by the world around us. There is a danger in limiting the debate to functionalism, the instrumental and gadgetry that devalues what really inspires us. We need structure, the physical shape and dimensions for space, for workshops, studios and other learning spaces. We need relaxed spaces that encourage socialisation. We need to value both busyness and emptiness. The intensity of experience is not always measured by footfall and by density of occupation. We need spatial variety. Models for flexibility do not have to depend on techno gadgetry and the inflatable classroom. What would you do if your classroom gets a puncture? And we need only just enough management to accommodate inventiveness and to allow the users of space to colonise and appropriate those spaces. We need purposeful and specialised studios, workshops and other spaces that need to be media and activity sensitive. We need to consider procurement and commissioning. We need to know what works. We need to identify our values and the values we share with others. And we need processes for consultations with students, staff and other stakeholders. We need to consider sustainability this is about environmental awareness, but it's also about change, adaptation, flexibility and future proofing. And it's about social inclusion, accessibility and outreach. We need to be sensitive to new and emerging technologies, about the power of virtual environments, communications and social networks, innovations in integrating technology to support distributed learning and learning communities. Finally, thanks for watching. And I look forward to reading the debates online and seeing you at the Wales Millennium Centre on the 8th of May.